What's up, everybody? Why is it here? And I am back, finally, where I feel like I belong. We are embarking on the Colts franchise. And man, I feel like I haven't done this in forever. Even though I've really only have skipped one Madden of a Colts franchise. But we're back. And if any of you, for all three of the Colts fans that exist, let me know in the comments section that you're here. Because you know it's the Colts. We have a very, very niche group of fans. And I want to make sure that we show support to our Colts. Or if you just want to let me know that you're here because you're excited about the Colts franchise, sound off in the comment section. Also, make sure that you leave a like on the video because now, now we get back to the YouTube grind. We're going to take it just a little bit more seriously this year. Last year, it was just chilling and cooling, you know, giving back to just whomever wanted to see it. But now we're back to expanding. So I'm going to need the likes. I'm going to need the comments. I'm going to need all that good, clean interaction. But let's get to it. So we're going to go over the rosters. We're going to talk about the plans for the franchise. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. First, I want to start with letting you guys know that the plan for doing this franchise is five seasons. At least five seasons. Now, if we continue to go longer, hey, that's cool for me. I, I wouldn't mind it, you know. Depends on how the grind is. Depends on how you guys are. Uh, I'm excited about it, so why not? Also, I love the way this screen looks these days. Now, the star development trait, they have the colors that match what their, what their development trait is, which is pretty dope. If you're silver, you're a star. If you're bronze, you're normal. If you're red, like this guy, you are superstar X Factor. In gold, you are a superstar. That That's pretty dope. Uh, I also want to go over some of the moves I want to make, uh, like who's going on the trade block, who I'm looking to get rid of, how I want to structure this team. You know what? Fine. Let's just go into it. One thing that I want to do is stay true to Frank Wright, uh, and his thing is to build through the draft with sort of kind of minimal uh, trades and, and free agents. It looks like just, just by looking at it, he picked up uh, Justin Houston. Which, you know, I, I guess you could say that that counts as a big pickup in free agency. But we picked up Justin Houston, honestly, because I think that he is still a bit of a threat. And, you know, we needed, we needed that top guy to put his hand in the dirt a little bit. Also, he's a veteran, so that allows guys to develop under him. Now, I want to stay true to that philosophy. You know, maybe like if we do free agency, we'll bring in vets so that the guys under them could, could progress uh, all while not hurting our starting lineup. And then by the time those guys are ready, uh, then we could, you know, they'll be of adequate overall rating. Now, I think that I got that out of the way. We're going to be looking to build through the draft. Hopefully the draft doesn't let us down. Let's look at the roster here. Let's look at what we got here. Guys that I'm excited about, at least for the first two, three years, T.Y. Hilton. And I think he got two more years left on his contract. And he's already 29 years old. That's going to be a problem in the future. Andrew Luck, of course, he's going to continue to be on the incline. Running back position. We're a little iffy here. I do like Marlon Mack. I do like Naeem Hines. Uh, you know, but they already got a couple years in. Will they progress? Will they stay the same? That's to be seen. I'm, uh, we have Funches over here who killed me in fantasy last year i mean i had him on my fantasy team and he did absolutely nothing but we are going to we're gonna we're going to believe in what it is that the coast did they signed him to a one-year deal so that he could show how he does i'm going to say you know what i'm gonna keep him i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to see what it is that they saw in him i'm gonna give him a chance and if he's trash he's trash if he's not then hey they made the right move right Tight end, our tight end situation. We got Eric Ebron and we got Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle is in the last year of his contract and we already have Eric Ebron. I wouldn't mind getting another tight end to start building up. So Jack Doyle, he's gonna be going on a trade block. Let's just double check to make sure. I think he has one year left on his, or this is his contract year. Let's take a look. Yep, contract year. So we're gonna be looking to get rid of him. Hopefully we can get like some picks or something out of him. I wouldn't mind that. Anthony Costanzo, he's been a thorn in my side for years in Colts franchises. He's trash. And I think he's about 31 years old. Yep, 31 years old. So he's going to be looking to go on a decline after this season. 
Quentin Nelson, he's a beast. Nothing needs to be said about him. We got Ryan Kelly. We got an upgrade here at right guard. So I'm looking to bring in a left tackle and a right guard. Probably left tackle I'm going to look at free agency or I'm not going to go trade heavy there. But I'll be looking at free agency to get one because you want to get a solid left tackle. You know, you don't want to miss on that in the draft. You know, I'll try, but I'm going to be looking at free agency for that one. I'm willing to spend big money for a good kind of young left tackle. Red guard, we need to improve. We got Braden Smith over here. I believe this is his second year. Yep, this is his second year. So we're going to see what the kid could do. On the defensive side of the ball, Malik Hooker, you're staying right where you are. Hopefully you continue to progress. Uh, we, got, we got the freak right here, but we'll get back to the freak in a second. Uh, Clayton Gathers. Clayton's going to be moved. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he's a normal development trait, four years in, 27 years old. I'm pretty sure somebody will be willing to fight on him if we put him on the free agency block. Moving along to the D-line. In real life, I like our D-line. I really do. Tyquan Lewis. Uh, what's his name? Is it Daniel? Is it Demetri? Danico. Danico Autry. They played very well in the second half of the season. I think that they should be rated a little better than what they are. But they are two guys that, no, not the, Taekwon's fine. Autry and, and Hunt, both of those guys are starting to get up there in age. 29 years old for Autry, and I believe almost the same. 32 for Hunt, for Hunt. So we're going to look to make some moves to get a better defensive tackle, maybe two. Uh, Jabal Sheard, look, I'm not keeping him, all right? I'm not keeping him. If somebody puts in the offense, if somebody puts in an offer, say goodbye to Jabal Sheard. I think he has one more year left on his contract. Yeah, this is his last year. He's in the contract year. I'm going to look to move him, put him on a trade block. Look, I'm willing to tank this year. I'm willing to tank. I'm going to try to win. But I'm willing to tank to make some moves to, to, to get better in the draft. Houston, we got two years with him. So I'm going to let him do what he does. Uh, in the comment section, let me know if I should make this move. I'm kind of against it, but I'm, I kind of need to. I'm thinking about moving Justin Houston up to right outside linebacker and have him being the blitzing back. But he doesn't have the speed or zone coverage for it. So I don't know. Kind of iffy about it. We just, we just lack anything at right outside linebacker. Uh, looking at our cornerbacks, because this is kind of where we're going to end. We're going to just let you know. Vinatieri, say goodbye. Um... This guy right here, 28 years old, 81 overall, and let's see how many years he has on his contract. I think he has a couple more years on his contract. Yeah, he's got a couple more years left on his contract. What I'm going to be looking to do with him is I'm going to look to upgrade at cornerback, you know, try to get much better at cornerback, and hopefully get him into a position where he's our nickel. Kenny Moore, I'm expecting good things out of him. Rocky Asin, who has the hidden development trait. Bang, he's hidden. They're probably talking right now and I don't hear it. Are they? Are they? Are they? Do I even have the volume up? I don't have the volume up. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, but he has a, uh, a hidden development trait, so I'm expecting some things out of him. Over here, Quince. Is it Quincy? It's Quincy Wilson. Yeah, Quincy Wilson. He might go up on a trade block. I'm going to see what kind of value I can get out of him. He's still young. Um, I think that's all I can say about him is that he's still young. Uh, he's, he's not that good. To me, he's been a bust. He's been a bust IRL, all of that. Uh, plus, I want to get faster at cornerback. I think our fastest cornerback is like an 89 or maybe even an 88 overall. We have an overhaul to do at the cornerback position because the thing that I am going to specialize in uh, with this team is going to be the defense. I mean, you have teams with the monikers of like the purple people eaters and the steel curtains. I want to get to a point where we could make the Colts have a fearsome, fearsome foursome, where we have a fearsome defense and we, 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 we find a moniker for them. By the way, if you have any defensive monikers, that we could possibly look to name the Colts and uh, swing them my way. 
But the guy that is going to carry this defense. Woo! That boy was defensive rookie of the year. Look at Darius Leonard. Look at him. Look at him. He's shiny. He go. Man, the guy that is going to carry the defense. The one that we are centering our defense behind. I can't say that I could possibly be more excited. Then Dewey Wiser. Yeah, I had to put myself up in. <laughs> I had to put myself in the franchise. For years, I've been begging and pleading for the Colts to pick up a middle linebacker, and we could never do it. We've even passed up on the likes of a Paul Puzlesny. I'm like, no, no, we're not going to keep doing this. I'm putting myself, Dewey Wiser, in the game. He's got, he got dreads. No, he doesn't have dreads. Maybe I'll give him some dreads. But we got Dewey Wiser. The guy is an absolute animal. He's a beast. He is what I would like to call a ball hawking middle linebacker. Don't throw it across the field, middle linebacker. Hopefully they don't jip us on the animations for, for lurks, hopefully. And look at this. Guys. Look at this guys. Ninety-four speed? What? Ninety-five acceleration? Look at that hit power. Mm, eat that all up. Yo, I'm, I'm excited about you, Eliza. Okay, he could jump. 95 jumping, just in case they try to get wild with me. Nah, dude, he could jump. 86 catch it. The dude is ready. Dewey Weiser is third-ranked middle linebacker in the league based on his overall rating of 92. He's exactly where I wanted. I didn't want to make him a 99 and all of that. I wanted to put him right where Andrew Luck was and, and kind of go from there. So just putting him in the starting position. Brings us up to an 80 overall on the defensive side of the ball, I believe. Let's take a look. Oh, no, we're still at 79. Uh, so there are some things that we need to work on when it comes to our roster. And we're going to use the preseason to, to figure out some of these spots because some things need to be done. Jacoby Brissett, I'm going to keep him here. Worry not. Uh, at halfback. We're missing a power back. You know, we have a balance back in Marlon Mack. All of this rhyming is all accidental. Naeem Himes here is our speed back with the 93 speed. Uh, we need a power back. Wide receiver, we got T.Y. Hilton, who, again, I'm looking forward to for the next couple years. And we're going to assess him after those couple years and see uh, if we can keep him on a team, depending on what he's asking for. Bunches. Okay, we're actually looking at depth. My bad. So, Paris Campbell is a rookie out of Ohio State. I am looking forward to playing pass and catch with him. Uh, you know, it's pass and catch. Uh, with that 94 speed, 82 catching, I could work with that. Chester Rogers, not terribly interested in keeping him on the team. Uh, we also have Zach Pascal, who might provide some decent depth for us, especially with that 92 speed and 82 catching. That works. Oh, no. This means the 87. Nah, say goodbye. Who was I looking at that had 92? Oh, I was looking at his acceleration. So, yeah, we got a bunch of say goodbye guys. We got a whole bunch of those. But, um, I don't know. The way the ratings are in Madden these years, or at least this year, I might have to keep some of these guys around. I might have to. But we'll see how their production is. At tight end, I already explained this one. We're going to be looking to move Jack Doyle and looking to bring in another tight end um, of lesser pay, probably decent, better value. I mean, this guy, 91 catch. Good luck finding that. But that speed, that's telling me that all he could do in the end zone is catch a pass in the end zone on a, on a, on a down and in or a slant. That's about it. That's like, he ain't even got slant speed. Left tackle, we talked about. Got to look for depth there. Um, we gotta look for depth here. Center, we need it. I mean, look, look, at, look at this. The 55 overall is really not gonna help us if anybody gets hurt. Uh, Ben Banagu, or is it Benogu? Ben O. All right, this guy right here out of TCU. I was expecting much better out of him, and honestly, I might move him. I might move him right now. To right outside linebacker. 
let me see what his stats are in zone and oh my lord Jesus. okay all right just 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 for giggles just for giggles let me just see something we're gonna move him back to left end but man let's try to give guys a chance uh Kamiko to Ray. He's in his second year. I like to die. Try to get him some more some more burn. Defensive tackle. Again, we got we gotta make moves here to get better. Please tell me this is the last year of this guy's contract. He has a really bad contract to work with. Oh god. Well, we're stuck with him for two years. Look at that penalty. Darius Leonard, we're cool there. Probably need to, you know, our depth. Is, I mean, I, 66, 70, I guess that's doable in Madden this year. But at right outside linebacker, okay, this guy didn't move up at all. It, it, it's, yeah, he's trash. I expected much better to, out of him. I really did. I really did. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're going to give us greatness out of Mr. Ben Bonogu. That's, that's probably, that's probably not his name either. Cornerback. We got a lot of cornerbacks there, so I'm gonna be looking to move a lot of these guys and bring in some newer ones at different positions. Also, we gotta appoint captains. Just realize, sir, you're not gonna be a captain. In the comment section, for anybody that's a Colts fan, or even if you're just here for, you know, just to support the Colts, let me know what six players you would make as your captains. What six players, like, at, before I put mine up here, who would you make the captains? I mean, of course, Duke Wise is going to be a captain. Let me not even put the suspense out there. No suspense. Dewey Wise, the run stuffer. Let's see what his, uh... Are they going to show us his abilities and such? There he is. X-Factor ability, run stuffer can single-handedly disrupt an offense. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their win rate and block shed speed against one-on-one -on -one run, -on -one run blocks. His superstar ability slots are still, you know, they're, they're still locked. Make tackles for losses. Okay. But yeah, he's going to be a captain. I'm not even, you know, it's not a Darius Leonard, it's another one. It's another captain for us. I'm sure y'all had the freak there. Uh, I know y'all won't be able to guess my last one though. Yeah, I won't be able to guess my last captain. Okay, so I think that I've released all of the people that are supposed to not be captains. I think I've already stripped them of their badges. So we got one, two, he's getting one. Come on, y'all do this. That's three. All right, so we have one, two, three. No. Yes. Four. This man almost single-handedly turned our entire offensive line around. Got to pay homage to, uh, to, to Quentin Nelson. Eric Ebron. Salute to him. Darius Leonard. That's a cat. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Who's getting our left? All right. Yeah, probably. Y'all won't guess it. Y'all won't guess it. Y'all won't guess it. Put it on Paris Campbell. Why would I put it on a 71 overall rookie? And honestly, it's for the story. What I'm doing is I'm putting a lot of pressure on this rookie because I want him to perform, I want him to produce, and I want him to also be the one that we can reflect on when new guys are coming into the system, when we're bringing in new recruits, <laughs> recruits, this isn't NCAA, when we're bringing in new players from the draft, I want them to be able to shoot for a situation where they can be the man. So, in order for them to believe that they have a chance to be the man and the chance to, to be a captain, we got to show that that's accessible to the guys that are also on the team. So I'm going to give that privilege to Paris Campbell. Now, 
This team is going to change throughout the preseason. I'm not going to like bother you out with all of that now because it's just going to be filler spots. So before the preseason game, I am going to show you what the roster looks like because guys are going to get cut. You know what? Yeah, yeah they're going to get cut. We're going to say goodbye to some guys uh, because we need better depth. We, we, we can't do this with like... 57, 58, 6. I mean, we, we, nah, we can't do that. So, I'll show you guys the roster in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I want to say thank you for the support, but we don't even know if it's supported yet. We, we got to wait till the videos are, you, you know what? All right, I, I got to get used to this whole commentating thing. I feel like it's brand new. I'm used to talking to a crowd. Now I'm talking to myself. See you in the next video. Peace.